So, hear me out real quick. Um, I was in um, Food Lion Grocery Store, located in Charlotte, North Carolina, right off of South Tryon Street, right? Um, I went in there looking for some kale, right? So I went in there, got about four bundles, right? So I went in, went to the, you know, the cashier or the register, and I was waiting in line, right? So as I'm waiting in line, you know, people are looking at me all funny and everything. I mean, because I'm... <laughs> You know, they automatically assuming that I'm young and I have these big bags of kale and they're like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Because black people don't supposed to be eating that unless it's mustard greens or collard greens. Anything outside of that, we don't supposed to be eating that. And then not only it's, it's just crazy how the picture is, you know what I'm saying? So here I am. I have these big, big bags of kale, right? I'm holding and my shirt is raised up a little bit, right? Now, the handle of my firearm is protruding out of my shirt. I don't really know. Most people that carry conceal or conceal carry, most people don't realize that, you know, their, 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 their firearm is like out of their shirt. You know what I'm saying? Most people such as myself. So, you know, I'm not paying attention. You know, people looking at me crazy. And I'm like, why is everybody looking at me crazy? And then I look down, I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But it's a little too late. You know, I might as well just keep the shirt up. So, I get to the cashier. And the cashier is like, he has to be about 16, 17 years old, right? So, he's, <laughs> he assumes like everybody else, which got mustard greens, collard greens. I was like, nah, I got kale, right? So, He's ringing up my stuff. Cause there are other stuff too as well, you know, uh, that goes along with the kale. You know, I onions and different things like that, right? So, um, he's putting the kale in the bag and he notices, you know, my, the gun handle hanging out of my shirt. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, oh, I see you got a Glock. So, my EDC is not a Glock, it's a six sour uh, P365 with a uh, an extended magazine so the normal magazine that comes with it is like 10 10 rounds you know the one that i have is 15. so the if you're not familiar with the p365 it's a micro compact gun you understand so it's it's it's, it's smaller than the average you know what i'm saying glock so you know i didn't correct them or nothing i agree with them and then i was this was what I really wanted to, like I, I was waiting for this moment. I've been waiting for this moment for so long and it happened and I was happy. I just was, just, I was trying to decide in my mind real fast, you know what I'm saying? Trying to formulate my words and make sure that I say the right thing, right? So I'm like, yeah, bro, this is legal though, you know, just in case something happens, you know, I can legally protect myself. And I said that all brothers should have one. Period. Now I know I could have went a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? But this is a young kid. And most times when us as adults are talking to a kid, we lose their attention by just keep on. We just, we, it gets to a point where after about a minute or so, Young people would look at that shit as rambling if you keep on going on and on and on and on. What I wanted him to know was that this firearm is legal. Yes, I am black. And that you can be just like me. Straight up. Which brings me to this point. We as black people are teaching our kids wrong matter of fact we're teaching our families wrong and i'm just sick and tired of it man it's just disgusting and we're trying to figure out why in the world we're always losing finishing last why do we come in last place 
in every fucking race, straight up, double entendre, in every race, we come in last. And it just makes no sense. But I know why. It's obvious. It's obvious. We are not taught to be leaders. We're taught to be followers. Yes, we're still teaching our children like how we taught our children when we were slaves. Straight up. We teach them, you know, that the police officer is dangerous and that you're supposed to, supposed to speak and talk and walk a certain type of way when being around a police officer. We're taught to be docile and humble and meek in front of a white person and that's the that's a fact that's a fact you could sit here and sugarcoat it and say well you know you're supposed to be this way and that way in front of your boss you're supposed to be this way and that way in front of a police officer you're supposed to be this way and that way in front of a judge but everyone that you're naming most of the time is white we're always teaching our family how to play it safe and we wonder why there's no one in our families that we have that are risk takers and we shun risk takers you know how many times people have 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 commented in the in the videos that i've done you know when i talk about the things that I want to do in the near future, you know, moving out of Charlotte, moving to another city, a state in America, eventually moving out of the country. You know what I'm saying? Owning ownership, owning shit, shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, eventually getting to the point where I can actually buy a boat, shit like that. And a black man, in the average black man, in the average black woman's eyes is unattainable. Matter of fact, it's unreachable. We're not taught how to make money. We're not taught how to use money as a resource to make more money. Don't y'all understand where I'm coming from, man? For those that have been looking at my channel for years, don't y'all understand the frustration now? Don't you understand that? And the frustration is that I'm just sick of being black, man. I'm sick of it. No wonder why we're fucked up in the game. I can tell you, man, this is my word. Y'all may disagree. Y'all, y'all, I know y'all gonna disagree with me. I know it. I know it. I'm gonna go ahead and sip on this water real quick. I know y'all gonna disagree with me. I know it when I say this. Racism, systemic racism, and the likes. Ain't shit. Ain't nothing. I'll eat racism in my sleep. Straight up. I'll eat racism in my sleep. That's nothing. It never was anything. It's the mentality that we have that's stopping us. That's putting a brick wall in front of our fucking goddamn, in front of our success, in front of our progress, in front of our goals. And I'm telling you, the white man ain't doing shit. Yo, man, let, let's make up a, fuck it, fuck it. Let's draw, let's, let's draw. I'm, listen, I'm, I'm putting the top on my water because we're going, we're about to get busy in this bitch. We're about to draw the fucking line in this motherfucker. Either you scared of the white man on this side, right? Or... You say, fuck racism, fuck racist people, fuck everything, I'm gonna make it happen. You're gonna go, if you on this side, you're gonna go with this God type of mentality, this God concept of mentality, God concept, this, 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 this mentality where you are omnipotent, you are all knowing, you are all everything. So which one are you? Which one are you going to lean to? Are you going to lean more so towards being independent? 
to being an independent thinker. Not and, and not not and, and not giving a fuck. Not asking people to have a pity party for you. To make shit happen, or are you gonna go on this side? Where well, you gonna say, oh, I'm scared of the white man. The white man is the devil. The white man is always bringing me down. And this is the reason why I can't never have shit. Because the white man don't never want me to have shit. And this is the reason. And, 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 and I'm just going to be a crackhead. Because that's the only thing that the white man wants me to be. Which one are you going to fucking be? Are you going to be the motherfucker that makes all excuses on, in, the, on the, in the world? Over on this side. Or you're going to say fuck the all the excuses. And you're just going make to it, make it happen on this side. Which one, motherfucker? Which one? Because I'm telling you, motherfucker, before I close my eyes, that's my word. Y'all gonna remember me. Straight up. And I didn't say millions. I didn't say trillions. I said y'all, you all. You all are gonna remember me. I don't give a fuck if it's five, number five or ten people. You wanna know why you're gonna remember me? Because I'm gonna live to my fullest potential. Period. To my fullest potential, man. And I'm telling you, the white man is not holding you back. I'm telling you, he's not. He's not. And let's just say, let's just say he is. The reason why I say he's not holding you back, because if we if we claim to be grown men and grand, grown women, how can a, another grown man and another grown woman hold you back? And you may go take it a step further and say, well, they are in power places of, of excuse me, power of positions of they are they are in power. They are in power positions of power. Excuse me. I apologize. It took me a long time to get that out. They are are in positions of power. Well, find another fucking way. Nothing's in, nothing is impossible. When you're living up to your fullest potential. See, this is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and then maybe, excuse me, people will understand who my audience, who I'm talking to, who my audience is. What I'm saying is this. If you're living up to your fullest potential, right? There's nothing that can stop you. There's nothing that can stop you. There's no excuses. There are no is any excuses. And none. So I'm talking to, to the ones that no matter what obstacle it is, they're trying to think about getting through that obstacle. Not Sitting back complaining that it's an obstacle in their way. And those are the people that I'm talking to. The ones that say, fuck it. I'm going to make it happen. Period. So, in that aspect, those people. White man ain't in our way. The only person that's really in our way. And I continue to say it. Is that man or that woman that you look in the mirror at and see every day? That plain and simple, man. That plain and simple. Other than that, man, black folks, we got to get it together. Because we are literally teaching our children, our mothers, our fathers, our brothers and sisters, our aunts and uncles, cousins. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, friends of the family. All of that shit, we're teaching us, we're teaching one another wrong. We just are. We just are, man. Like, seriously, in our community, anyone that keeps up with their bills, drives a decent car, and has anywhere between a hundred to a thousand dollars in a bank, that's what we call middle class. That's what we call a man or a woman taking care or handling their business. No, it's not. That's what I call a man or a woman that's starting out, that has a good start. But that's not where you should be ending at. Period. How many black people own a passport? Raise your hand. 
many people think vegetables are nasty? How many people think vegetables and fruits are, are nasty? That's what I'm talking about. How many black people eat healthy? How many black people give a fuck that quinoa, foods like quinoa, kale, are superfoods? That if you eat kale and quinoa, you can get all types of vitamins like K, B12, A, C. All types of minerals like that, that your body needs like potassium, magnesium, iron, zinc. How many black people care to know that kale and quinoa is a superfood? I'm trying to understand. If I came to your block, if I came to your community and you was out there selling drugs and you had a gun on you, if, if what if I told you that you can do the same damn thing that you're doing? But now it's it's not even but now. It's always been legal that you can legally sell drugs and have a gun for your protection. That you can legally sell drugs and make way more money than you ever did on a block. Without the risk. And this was so funny. This was what's, what's, what's funny. I'm glad I said that because you know what? Black people do take risks. And most of the risks that they take are foolish. What if I told you? What if I told you, and I'm gonna end it, that I could do that for you? And that man that's on the other side of the block, on the other corner, he's trying to take your shit and you trying to take his. Y'all are saying that y'all can't, nobody can't, Bang on this block. Oh, it could only be one person that could bang on this block. And you and him are fighting for this block. He's over here. He's ready to bust his gun. He's ready to spin around the block on you. Just because he wants to own this street corner like you do. What if I told you all that I can I, I can give both of y'all goddamn jobs? My point in making to you is, if you're willing to change your life, if you're willing to put in the time and the effort, just like you put in the time and the effort on this street corner, you see what I'm saying? It took you a while in order for you to, you know what I'm saying, sell your product and 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 people trust in your your brand. It took you a while in order to, 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 to get up the money to flip and flip and flip so you can have product on, on deck, you know what I'm saying? So if you were to run out, you can re-up. In other words, it took patience for you to get to where you're at right now. Well, I'm telling you that you it's gonna take take patience to 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 get to where I'm telling you you can go. Hear me out. You go to college. Go through. However many years they tell you to go, you know what I'm saying? You get your uh, your diploma, you know what I'm saying? Your degree. And you do some freelance work, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you go to a pharmaceutical, uh, I don't know what they call it. I forgot the name that they call it, but you're working for free, you know what I'm saying? But you're getting, you're, you're working for free, but at the same time, matter of fact, you don't, you're doing that d while you're going to school. You're learning, you're learning, you're learning. When you get out, you go to some pharmaceutical company, you know what I'm saying, and work under them. You know what I'm saying? You get more experience, more experience, more experience. And then sooner than later, you open up your own drugstore. You sell drugs the legal way. Shit, you have a drive through you can... You know what I'm saying? You can set up your whole operations where you can link up with different doctors and those doctors are, are prescribing their patients different drugs and, and those prescriptions, those patients are going to take, the doctor's going to tell them to come to you. And you remember the dude that you was warring with? Well, God damn it, he can set up shop right beside you. 
You want to know why? Because Exxon and Shell Gas Station does it. You want to know why? Because CVS and D Dwayne Reed and Walmart and Target are on the same fucking block selling the same fucking drugs and ain't nobody never fucking shot each other. You don't have to sell drugs illegally. Oh, you don't want to sell liquid cracker. You know what I'm saying? Whatever drugs that you're selling and, and it's, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's, you don't want to sell that? Well, do a weed dispensary or some shit. You don't want to do the pharmaceutical drugs and all of that. I get that. Let Do the weed shit then. Do the THC shit. Do the CBD shit. Other than that, get the fuck off the corner. Because you don't have to be there. You don't have to take the make these type of uh, sacrifices and take these type of risk anymore. But the problem is, is we're teaching our children the wrong way. The wrong way. I I met a doctor. Excuse me, let me take that back. I met someone that's that's in in the pharmaceutical industry, right? Health industry, whatever you want to put it. This motherfucker said he sells drugs. And he told me the money that he makes and the cars that he got and, and, and the places that he's traveling to, and the things that he owns. That man ain't never shot nobody. And ain't no cop busting in this house. Brothers and sisters, man. All we have to do is start teaching our children the right way. Period. That's all we have to do. And also, be the example. Fuck a set in the example. Be the example. Just like how I was, you know what I'm saying? In the very beginning of this video, when I, you know, confronted that 16 year old kid that said, you know, hey man, you gotta clock, man, you gotta clock it. He was excited when he, when, when, when he was looking at my, my, my firearm. You know what I'm saying? He was excited. Just like how excited they are when they look on when they're looking at YouTube and they looking at these videos, these rap videos and shit like that. They're like, wow, man, I wish I had the girls and the guns and the cars and this and that. You can have all of that shit. But it doesn't have to be where you're risking your life in order to get those type of things. One thing that I've been taught. And I've been on the illegal side and the legal side. And one thing that I've learned, man, it pays to do the right thing. It really does. That's my word. Freddie Gibbs, Smith and Wesson, and I think someone else said that shit. That crime pays. That's a fucking lie. Don't believe that shit. Crime does not pay. It appears that it does you know what i'm saying so i swear this is my word and then i'm done i go to work nine to five right prime example i go to work nine to five i get a paycheck i come home i pay my bills and shit like that people call me a square but i n there's nothing wrong with that that's the honest day pay working nine to five and coming home taking care of your responsibilities that's what you're supposed to do that's that's who you're supposed to be as a man you know what i'm saying you're supposed to be able to handle your fucking business so let me get that, like, let that be fucking known. That a real motherfucking man is a motherfucker that handles his business. And if this motherfucker got to work a nine to five in order to handle his business, he should be respected like any fucking body else. Whether a nigga is an entrepreneur, whether a motherfucker is a goddamn a, 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 a garbage, a, 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 what is it, a, 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 a garbage man, a mailman, any motherfucking man or woman that take takes care of his or her responsibility is a man or a woman, no matter what. I had to say that, man.
because we shit on our nine to fivers. We shit on our regular day, everyday people. And those people are just as important as the fucking president of the United States of America. Everyone is important. Everyone helps in America, that is. Everyone helps this engine called America turn every day. There's no job that's more important than the next man's job. We all are one. We all work as a team. But I'm going to work nine to five. And I don't have to worry about getting shot and pulled over by the cops. And well, I'll take that back. I do have to worry about getting pulled over by the cops and, and shot because it's a thing called stereot stereotypes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and most police officers will look at me. I got dreads. I'm black. Hey, he's a criminal. But I'm just saying, let's just say for the sake of the conversation, I'm a regular dude. You know what I'm saying? I go to work nine to five. No, I ain't no cops trying to do anything to me. I'm paying my motherfucking bills, right? So you, on the other hand, you are, you out on the block and you make what I make in two weeks in one day. And everybody looking at you like, oh my God, he's this and that and so forth. And I don't like this lame ass nigga. He worked nine to five and he don't make no money. He only makes such and such. And he's a, he's, he, he gets paid on an hourly, hourly uh, uh, salary and this and that and so forth. And my man over here, he make all the money. Da, 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 da. And then, you know, your man keep on stacking, 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 stacking. Until one day, they what? Drug bust your ass and take every motherfucking thing you have. And the only thing that you have left is about $10,000. But... <laughs> you can't fucking spend that Why? Because your lawyer costs you 10 G's So let's see here How much money do you have After you had you done fucked around And got yourself out of the bullshit That you got yourself into You know what I'm saying You got busted They took all your shit They took your money They took the cars They took the clothes They took everything The only thing that you had left was Money for your lawyer And your, your lawyer got you out of jail you ain't had to do no time, but now you are down to this. Zero. Now, look at me. I'm nine to five. I'm still doing my thing. I got my money in the bank because I'm saving it. And it's not dirty money. You understand? I still got my bills. You know what I'm saying? I'm paying that. I still got my fucking car, my clothes, and every damn thing else that I had prior to you getting fucking busted. Now, you tell me which one pays. A nine to five or does... Crime pay, motherfucker. So, black people, we need to change the way we teach our families. Because this shit ain't working.